Major Drug Dealer Do you still remember that when you were small and you were having a high fever? Your mom insists on grabbing a buttock and pushing in a small tiny bullet into your rectum and that feeling was like oh, wow But the good part was, eventually, the fever relieves So we, you will be asking, what is this tiny little bullet? That's why I am here to explain to you Suppository and Passeries Both suppository and passery has the same method of preparation The difference is just the road of administration Suppository is for rectal use and passery is for vaginal use That's why it's definitely not for me But for today, we are going to look at how we are going to formulate a passery And the passery we are going to formulate today is lactic acid passery First, let's look at the formulation of lactic acid passeries. So this is the formulation for lactic acid passeries. What we need is lactic acid, gelatin and glycerol. Lactic acid acts as the active ingredient for this formulation. It helps create an acidic environment in the vagina flora so that this can help to prevent any infections in the vagina. Gelatin and glycerol actually acts as the base. For information, lactic acid passery, we are going to prepare it in a GG base, which is the glycerin gelatin base. So, we are going to formulate for 10 gram passeries, and eventually we are going to send in 6 passeries. So this is, the, this, is the, uh, this is what we have calculated, and this is the measurement that we need. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's check on the ingredients and apparatus. What we need is liquid paraffin, glycerol or known as glycerine, gelatin, lactic acid. For apparatus, we need two evaporating dishes, cotton buds, dropper, distilled water, and also the mold for making suppository and passeries. And to set up for water bath, beaker and glass rod, mortar and pestle, wing balance, and also aluminium foil. First, weigh two empty evaporating dishes and record the readings. Again, we are going to formulate this pessary with glycerin gelatin base. Hence, lubrication is necessary. Next, lubricate the mold by using liquid paraffin. You may use a cotton bud to help you. Then, invert it to drain excess lubricant. And put the mold into the fridge. Next, Reduce the size of gelatin into fine powder by using a mortar and pestle. You may need to put in some force as the gelatin is quite hard. Try to reduce the size to as small as possible to make the melting process easy afterwards. And then, weigh the gelatin powder according to the amount needed which is 1.47 gram. Weigh the 0.2 gram of lactic acid and 6.86 gram of glycerol by using weighing balance. Transfer the 6.86 gram of glycerol into the evaporating dish containing the 0.2 gram of lactic acid. The glycerol is quite viscous, so be patient and make sure all the glycerol are fully transferred. Warm the mixture in evaporating dish to 100 degrees Celsius using water bath for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure that the mouth of the evaporating dish is pointed outwards to prevent the inhalation of gas. Meanwhile, stir the mixture by using a glass rod. Then, pour approximately 1.5 to two times of distilled water needed in the formulation into another evaporating dish and soak the gelatin in it for 10 to 15 minutes. 
this is to make the melting process of the gelatin faster afterwards. So this is how a fully soaked gelatin looks like. Heat the gelatin that has been soaked in the water by using water bath and stir it continuously. It's hot, so be careful. Stir continuously until all the gelatin are dissolved. Stir it to prevent the clumping and adhering of the mixture to the wall of evaporating dish. Remember to stop eating once the gelatin has dissolved or else you will denature the gelatin as gelatin is a type of protein. Add the hot glycerol into gelatin solution and stir well by using a glass rod. Remember to avoid the incorporation of air bubbles during the stirring. You have to make sure that the mixture is mixed well. Reweigh the evaporating dish to make sure the total weight of final product. If it's too much, evaporate it. And if it's too little, add more distilled water and continue to heat it until you get the weight of the final product. To do that, you will need to know the reading of the empty evaporating dish as I have mentioned earlier. Then, take out the mould from the refrigerator. Pour the mixture into the lubricated mould. Use a glass rod to guide your pourings. Pour in one go and do not overflow it. If overflow happens, quickly remove the excess amount by scrapping it away. Make sure the mould with pessaries is cooled and then let it to be set in the fridge for faster solidifying for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take out the mould from refrigerator and I'm going to remove the pessaries from the mould. So, I wear a pair of gloves to prevent contamination of the pessaries. Remove the pessaries from the mold. And ta-da! This is how a pessary should look like. Then, wrap the pessaries individually by using aluminum foil. Use a pencil to guide you to make the wrappings. Then, insert a pessary and wrap it nicely. We need to use aluminium foil so that the pessary is protected from light. Then, pack them in a plastic bag. Last but not least, do not forget about the label. Make sure you put down, unwrap the product before use, and the most important one, for vaginal use only. And don't forget to put down the expiry date, which is 3 months after the preparation. Ta-da! Finally, we have done with this lactic acid pessary. For information, lactic acid pessary is to treat leukoria. At the same time, it helps to create an acidic environment for the healthy environment for vagina. Here are some take-home messages. First,
This accessory is for vagina use only. So men, please don't try it unless you have a vagina. Next, please unwrap the product before use or else the wrist is at your own. Last but not least, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you and goodbye. Oh yeah, I think I've forgotten something. I would like to take this chance to express my greatest gratitude to our advisor, Dr. Gao Chun Fu, for providing us assistance, guidance to complete this assignment. Although it's very hard and quite challenging to produce this lactic accessory, but we actually learned a lot through this assignment and this lab session. And last but not least, I would like to express my greatest gratitude to my teammate and my groupmate. Ta da! And also our videographer. Bye! That's all. Bye!